Hey, yup. Hey guys, gals, friends, and pals, this is Paul Eastex Twitch, and welcome to another episode of Saturday Game School, where we learn about a different game every Saturday of the year. Tonight, I'm joined on mic by Perfect Zero, Thomas. Guten Tag. And I've also got Brandy Cats here off to the side. Hello. Yes, we are lacking Tyler, sorry about that. We hope he feels better. We are playing Lethal League Blaze for Xbox One. It is also available on PlayStation 4, Switch, and Steam. Covering all the bases. Hey, Mighty, welcome to the stream. <laughs> oh, Kill like don't say that. Oh, sure, Mighty. How would I do that? Oh, Dice is a character in the game. Okay, gotcha. Oh, select him first. Oh, you just push A, okay. Domino the Cursed! A new outfit. That's cool. Thank you. Oh, I like the outfit. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Uh, my phone accidentally switched the headphone off and went to phone mode. So I had to toggle it. That was really neat. Okay, we're doing the story mode. Welcome. I'm the one they call the queen. My sources tell me you know how to you want to know about the lethal league. Let's begin. Good question, Snucks. Just ice. Ah, right now we're in Shine City, an independent metropolis. Nothing much used to happen here. Nothing but the dreary grind of everyday life. To escape the endlessness, people started playing a certain ball game. The intense game caught on like wildfire and quickly became the most popular game in the city. That is, until one day, one of the players died during a match. That's rough. The media went into a frenzy, saying the new ball game was Savage Blood Sport. That ball game was ping pong. And sure enough, <laughs> the game was said to be too dangerous and was soon criminalized, so the players in competitions moved underground. Not bad, Darker Player. The ragtag group who kept the game alive was dubbed the Lethal League. And by the way, this game is a sequel, right? The first game was just called Lethal League. This is Lethal League Blaze. In spite of the ban, these players and their crews compete in the league for challenge and honor. Untouchable Dawn, we're glad you made it! Now with the latest underground tournament coming up, the cops are buzzing around everywhere. I have a feeling something big is about to go down. Yay, thank you for the follow, Mighty. We really appreciate it. We stream different indie games every Saturday of the year. Actually, every now and then it's a AAA game, but mostly indie games. So we got Lethal Dawn and the Renegades to choose from. Is that the story part I just did? We're about to find out. Kind of sounds like West Side Story. Is. Yep, that is what it was. Okay, the Renegades. I get to pick between baseball helmet guy and robot. We the guy. <laughs> a robot with a baseball hat. That's true, Darker Player. It has happened. The abandoned pool in the Old East District. The Renegades hang out. Looks like they're training for Ignite, the upcoming Lethal League tournament. I'm telling you, this is a switch. You're stressing over nothing. We'll take that tournament easily. Let's just get a few more matches in. The Renegades need to start getting up this season. If we play it soft, we're gonna lose. I'm not programmed to lose. I like that. Great art style. Yeah, Darker, the only way to save real baseball is to let people get killed in the game. Okay. So... I guess you have to hit I, the other player with the ball. Yeah, I missed the tutorial. I launched the game and it was like, do you want to do the tutorial? And I closed the game without saying yes or no, and so... I'm not able to do it anymore. So I'm just trying to figure out the game now with no tutorial. Yes, it is a bit of a Jet Set Radio-like thing. Take that. So you want to hit the other person with the ball. Oh. 
was you'll, wondering. you'll notice it looks a little bit like Smash Brothers. Yes, with better graphics. No time for games. Yeah, it's a cool art style. I'm going to have to go find a way to do the tutorial, though. I feel like I'm going to do it a disservice if I don't. No time for games is here. Probably just some combos. You know, the, like, the feel of the character, he's a little bit stiff. Which is surprising, given how, like, slick the game looks. I guess it's deliberate. We're now yanking it! We're glad you made it! You can jump off walls, that's always good. So I have two different kinds of strike here. What is... how does that one affect the ball? That sets it up. Gotcha. Link made it. Yo, Link. Paul, do you realize most of the damage you're suffering is from yourself running into the ball? <laughs> uh, I think that's just part of the game. No, it, it's you hitting yourself with the ball. The, I'm not the robot, you know. I'm the person. I'm winning. No, I know you're winning, but you're still... Most of your hits, your, uh, your damage is coming from you. <laughs> Turn off um, friendly fire! That's just like in real life. <laughs> no, actually, I do also have a weakness to cruel principles. Yes. But anyway, I was just getting warmed up. Man, we've been doing this all day. Maybe we should, you know, switch things up a little. Hey, who's there? The number in the boombox shows how fast the ball is going. Neat. So you guys are the famous renegades, huh? I like her. She's cute. Mm -hmm. I've heard so much about you, and I have to say... I'm interested. Hey. Also, you'll notice she is dressed for the quarantine. Yeah. <laughs> Smart thinking, lady. All right. So you think I'll be fine without doing the tutorial? I never got to play PlayStation All-Stars. I'm going to be the girl because she's cool. It looks like you sort of branch the levels by doing this. The renegades were confronted by a mysterious challenger. Who's this bubbly jetpack girl? <laughs> Name's Jet. I was told your crew is one of the best in town. <laughs> I'll try not to. Name's Jet. I was told your crew is one of the best. Yeah, want to prove it? Sweet. You got perfect timing. All right. A little too... Follow me. Come at me, won't you? Oh, that's cold, guys. I do not oh, even joke digital like jailbait that. Paul. <laughs> digital jailbait. No, he goes for older women. That's true. I do go for the older women. Ow! Get back here. Ow, oh, dang it. Messing up here. Alright. I'll get the hang of it. Stay down! In your face! <laughs> yeah, I think you're doing it without the tutorial. Yeah. So what has everybody been up to this week? We talked about uh, this in the news. Yeah, oh no, controller batteries are low. You're con it's gonna tell me that right when we start. Would you go grab a set, hon? <laughs> Thank you. Are you actually running on double A's? Yeah. Rechargeable double uh, A's and a loops. I swear by analytics. I've until I got the new uh, Elite 2, I was just running uh, off the regular rechargeable batteries. I found they last longer than rechargeable double A's. I feel like Microsoft actually has all three different types of battery options. You can have the removable rechargeables, the built in rechargeable. If you have the Elite 2, or you use regular double A's, of course, rechargeable double A's. Yeah, you know, some people feel very strongly about having built in batteries. You know, mostly people who have played PlayStation their whole lives. But. Yeah, I, I don't get why. Built in batteries is the worst, because once your battery dies, so does your controller. Yeah, the controller wears out. Yep. So your actual controller gets worse as time goes on. And yeah, some people just don't like having those extra options. It's a shame. Yeah. 
it's, it's people believe that uh, laziness is the same thing as uh, fewer choices. If yeah, they have dark fewer choices. They don't have to think. Darker player makes the point. That's true, Tom. That is true. But darker player says it's better for the Earth to have disposable batteries, because I guess I can see the environmental thing. I mean, like super minor. Well, it's but... less waste of materials. Yeah. Oh, is that mine? Mm -hmm. Oh boy, I'm gonna try this weird drink. That's not bad. All right. No, but that's the thing, Killick. If you use rechargeable double A's, like that will run out much slower. Yeah, although like if you want it to be as if it was built in, then just buy a play and charge kit and you're good to go. Yeah, no, once you get rechargeable double A's in your house, you'll find them incredibly useful. They're so good for numerous purposes, you know, and they come in different quality levels. So if you want them to last longer, etc., again, get Eneloops, but even Eneloops come in like different capacities. So it's because we have like 38 different controllers. We do have a lot of different controllers. Hey, you play ball right? What are you doing in my streets? New female character. She's got a big hammer. I like her. I go where I want to go. Uh-oh. She can't just let this slide. I like her hair, definitely. No time. Are you sure about that? All right. Yes. Let's jam. I like the environments. I gotta confess, I'm not quite like... I don't 100% get this yet. I'm hoping I'll... You know, groove to the gameplay better eventually. Oh, uh, Paul, oh. I was thinking about picking up that the, uh, new uh, Xbox, the... Uh, a cyber, uh, cyber escape or whatever special edition 2077 edition. It looks really cool. Yeah. The only it's reason it's in stores. Uh, well, I assume so. Well, because of when it's releasing, I expect it'll be online, but it will be in stores, obviously. Good. Yeah, Cyberpunk 2077. The one with Keanu. Would have been even sticker if they uh, changed right, like, the loading on the game to have Keanu in there for some reason. <laughs> yeah, well, ours lasts for about that long. Yeah, the only Brownmeister does make the point that the Xbox Sex comes out right after. Yep. So what's, I, like I said, what's up with that? The only reason to get this one is just for the heck of it. Uh, and you know. uh, if the rumors are to be believed, uh, supply for the. Uh, PS5 and Xbox uh, sex are going to be limited uh, for obvious manufacturing reasons. Finally hit him. Yeah, there is a decent likelihood of that. You know, I want them both very much. I mean, I can't even really be thinking about the future like that until I get my job situation straightened out. But normally I would like to get them both at launch, maybe a few months later on the PS5. So if there's a shortage, it won't upset me too terribly. But I know you guys who really want one, you know, it sucks to not be able to get it when you want it. Uh, no time. You got to watch it on uh, Blu-ray or at least streaming so you can get uh, the better audio. What? That's, uh, uh, he's watching Tom Wick too. That's one of those things where the soundtrack is... Uh, just for special effects alone is a lot of the movie. Ah. Yeah, Icky, you're right. Like, no matter what, I gotta, I've gotta have an Xbox Sex right at launch. But... We'll see. There's obviously other priorities. Yeah. Just gotta see how things go. Is that mine? Hey, two balls, it's multi-ball. I like that. 
The artwork is really good. The music is apparently from all these different hip-hop artists I've never heard of. No time, I agree. The lack of audio output on the Xbox sex is disappointing. But, I mean, surely you have a way to route the sound correctly in your home even without that, I would hope. No, your only option is HDMI, and they do make audio deem betters. Uh, so it's just everything's getting rid of every audio connection. Uh, it's an industry wide thing. And my bigger issue is the loss of the uh, infrared because I use my Xbox as a media player. And you're not doing much media player unless you, uh, they do the stupid Sony uh, with a proprietary Bluetooth controller that you can't get anywhere. Hey, Shih Tzu. Hey, Ectotastic. Well, I mean. Is that what you meant by, like, I'm sure they'll release a, re a media remote, a Bluetooth one, like Sony platform shoes? Yeah, but the Sony one is awful, plus it can't integrate into third-party systems as a result. I, yes, that is, I mean, that's the main downside. You lose that. But, I mean, I guess they're thinking of it less as a media system, even though it'll still probably have, I mean, it'll have all the same apps, I would assume, but... It's 90% of what the Xbox gets used for as a media player for the mo for most clients. That's the entire reason Microsoft got in trouble with trying to push your media features with the uh, X, uh, because uh, basically they looked at the numbers and that's what it was what was going on. Isn't this the Call of Duty logo, like Black Ops Three? Mm -hmm. Anyway, I want to hey. know who this queen is. Yep. So the cops are in her pocket, apparently. Again, Jet Set Radio vibes. <laughs> it looks like it. They get their orders from the second power, city council. All propped up in their little boardroom, thinking they know best. Then thirdly, there's the head of state. Ah, what the heck is that? I think it's Han Solo the frozen in carbonite, state. right? Yes. I know. The Wookiee's missing. Oh. I don't think was Chewbacca even there. Remember that's that uh, the thing from the eighties, the the floating head Max something or other. Oh, yeah. Max Headroom. Max Headroom. Yes. Yeah, and he's played by that guy. God, what's the actor's name? I usually know it. Anyway, the actor is he's in Doom Patrol, I think. I know it surprised me when you told me who it was. And he's in um, he's in Star, Star Trek: The Next Generation now and then. He's been in a lot of things. Matt Fromer, isn't that it? Mm. Something like clue. that. Yes, thank you, Mighty. We appreciate you being on hand to explain things to us. The Lethal League was never that high on their list. To them, we're just some punks. Lately, however, this has began to change. City Council is starting to say the Lethal League is a threat to society, and now players are getting busted left and right. What are they up to? Matt F. Frewer. Oh, that was Matt Frewer. Thank you. I, I was close. I think you have the guy who played Superman on the Supergirl show and the upcoming Superman and Lois show. Anyway, loved him in The Stand. You know, I haven't seen that in a long time. Weren't they supposed to be remaking it? They were doing like a theatrical movie or something. I know the series yeah, came out on Blu-ray like or is about to come out on it. I forget which. It's one of the workbot factories. This music is cool. This is where Switch used to work before he got bopped in the head. It's too easy to break in here. Now where is it again? Papa needs a new bolt. What's this guy doing? These guys remind me of Bender a little bit from Futurama. Yes. Get back in line. Looks yep. like you're missing some screws. Biz, biz. Without the bad language. <laughs> Maybe I could teach it to play. Fight my shiny metal butt, he says. Yep, welcome back. We're just trying to clear out this leg of the story. We've got two more levels to go. First one. Get oh, ready. that should be your new thing. Just constantly tell people to bite your shiny metal butt. <laughs> Why the heck not? I may take it seriously. Yeah, that's a problem. Somebody will actually bite it, and then I'll, I'll regret it. Yeah, they'll be disappointed because it's not metal. Oh, nice. Which one was it? Brown Meista? I love Futurama. I haven't watched it in a while. You want to get the ball in the goal, but I hit him, so I didn't have to. That's kind of a cool cutscene. Yeah, just when somebody gets knocked out, it does that. I like that you're on your skateboard. Yeah. It makes me happy. This guy's pretty cool. It's 
it's not that they went away from the uh, all entertainment platform. It's more that they're wafted back from a conversation standpoint. They're not going to get rid of like all the media feature because they know that's where uh, the bread and butter is. For them. Yeah, it would be very short sighted to get rid of all of it, like what Nintendo did with the Switch. Yeah. Which doesn't even There's have no Netflix, way to do, do that. See, that's the that was my main selling point for actually getting okay. one of the consoles is that I could do everything on it. Because I had yep. the you know Sony Blu-ray that did everything, but then I could play games and do all that stuff on one system, and I could give my you know Blu-ray no, player get the to my power child. Up. Uh, no, it went away. I lost my power up. It got hit. I don't like that. Hey, philosophy. You have, you have to have 800 different things to watch whatever you want to watch. Yeah, yeah. that could be a pain. I, and the Xbox One S and X are both good 4K Blu-ray players, so. One reason why, like my Honestly, living room I Xbox. A, a, yeah. Sorry, I was just saying I have a thousand dollar professional level Blu-ray player, and when I watch Blu-rays, I watch on the Xbox. Yeah. That's because it's more convenient. Mm -hmm. It is convenient. And truth be told, I, I can't really see much of a difference. Hey, platinum. Right. Platinum Ace Trick, we're glad you made it. I just want to remind you guys that, you know, you can always donate bits or subscribe. We love when people do that. It's a nice way to show your support for the stream. For your host who has to find another job very quickly. Well, in a few months. Within a few months, I should say. Ah! Maybe some of the donations can go to help paying Tyler's medical bills, because Tyler's not with us tonight since he's not feeling good. Although Tyler's just not feeling good because he's hungover, so a little different. Okay, good. I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> Depending on how yeah. hungover he's still made <laughs> medical bills. Uh, nice. Brownmeister has a good 1080p region-free Blu-ray player. I need to get a region-free Blu-ray player one day. There's a few Blu-rays that like have much better European versions, like Pan's Labyrinth, for instance. And, uh, gosh, there's one like Wax Museum, I think. I don't know. There's others. It's not just that one. I love Actually, that. most Blu-rays don't tend to care that much about regions like TV <laughs> did. So usually they will play anyway. Well, um, a lot of times, a lot of times, yes, but there's still plenty of region locking that goes on, particularly with European Blu-rays. True enough. Uh, as far as Streets of Rage, if you didn't know, Platinum is also going to be on uh, Game Pass. Yeah, that's what Platinum just said. And that's exciting. Good. Streets of Rage 4 coming to Xbox Game Pass at the end of the month. Hopefully it's really good. Streets of Rage is a classic beat-em-up series from Sega. Part 4 is being developed by .emu instead, or .emu? Yeah, I guess it's .emu. .emu makes a lot of really cool games, so I appreciate that they got the license and they're keeping that series alive. <laughs> So now I'm a superhero looking guy. His name is Nitro. I wonder if he has Nitro. <laughs> I want to finish this so we can like show off a few different modes. I mean, obviously, like, ah, he has a grappling hook or something. Giant hand One thing, we haven't really shown this off, but this particular game has four player local and online multiplayer guys, so. It looks a bit like Smash, even though it's got the ball hitting mechanic instead of just hitting each other. And uh, but playing with four friends would be a lot of fun. Nice variety of environments, cool-looking characters. And Paul just found his favorite uh, character because of the giant handcuffs. <laughs> hey, those might come in handy. Thanks for reminding me about my bucket list, Perfect Zero. No. Anyway. Uh, if that's on your bucket list, you need to get a little bit more creative with your bucket list. <laughs> Agreed. Very narrow bar. Well, you know, you never know. Maybe I'm... No, nope, can't talk about it. Ah! <laughs> I 
I try to stay on the right side of the law, let's put it that way. I tried that, they decided I was going to be on the left side. Oh. You drive in European style? Wait, we do drive on the left side. Ah. <laughs> nice. Lady Kennick says she got smashed to be able to play the Dragon Quest guy. That is why I got Jump... Jump Force? Is that what it's called? Jump yep. something. Yeah, it is Jump Force. Because it's got the Dragon Quest character die in it. He's really cool. They've been a, they've announced one of the characters from the second season pass of Jump Force, by the way, for anybody who keeps up with that game. It's going to have another guy from My Hero Academia called Todoroki, the fire and ice guy. Very X-Men-like character. Dang it. I have not bought the second season pass, but I probably will get it when it goes on sale. Hey, did he steal my ball? Where's the ball? Yep. I don't know what's happening. It's invisible or something. Yep, it hit me. This isn't going so well for me. <laughs> I kind of wish there was selectable difficulty because, again, uh, I'm finding it kind of challenging. Just the way it plays, having a hard time getting used to it. But... I think the main fun would certainly be playing against other people. Especially four people. What is he? Oh, he's like game point or something? No. Ah! Yeah! Wait, did I get hit or did he? Nope, he got hit. Good. It's more like it. Okay, so this is game point. Or match point, whatever. Yeah, Mighty. Is there a way to revisit the tutorial since, you know, I was denied that privilege? Ouch, I lost. Let's go find out. <laughs> Continue. We'll, we'll back out. How to play right there. How did I miss that? Alright, and I should be playing as... Where's the superhero guy? Is he not unlocked? I guess not. Let's play as that cool outfit you showed me. Dice, right? Yep. There we go. Start game. Yay, Thyrenia! Thank you so much! Very oh, sorry. That is a very awesome bit donation. We appreciate it. Well, it's the same area. All right, let's see if there's any mechanics I missed. Very interested in learning that. How to play. Hit the ball with X. Yes, we've got that. <laughs> you do want to know how to play. Okay. Okay, so aim by holding up or down. Aiming may not be my strong point. Yeah, I hit it though. Jump with A. Yeah, we got that. There is a double jump. I see, so it wasn't an off-the-wall jump I did earlier. It's just a double jump. Swing in the air and hold forward to smash. What does that mean? I assume that's a power hit. Yeah, I don't... I don't really understand how I did that. Throw the ball by grabbing it with Y. Okay, that's something I hadn't realized. You wrapped it a bunch of times, though. I mean, I hit it, but random buttons. bunt the ball would be... Yeah, I, I got the bunt. <laughs> bunt it with me. Okay, fine, I'll bunt it again. Throw it back here. Bunt, then hit it for extra energy, alright? These are good fundamentals to have. Hit your opponent with the ball. I like the sportsy vibe of it, you know, like it's an action, a competitive action game, but it's got that sports feel to it. You do a special, uh oh, I missed how to do the special attack. Mm. What did it say about the special attack, guys? 
Swing aiming Thanks, down, you do a spike. Got it. Hey, Mongbox, we're glad you made it. Okay, now I'm starting to get a little hot. Sorry, give me a sec. Okay, I don't know what that icon is that Siren had used, but it's really creeping me out. <laughs> it's a unicorn with the rainbow heart around it. Yeah, that's not what it looks like. Attack. Pressing X again while hitting the ball. I, is that like a double tap X? Is that what made it do the special attack, Mighty? Alright, first one knocked out. Okay, double tap X. I can handle that. Alright. Let's be the 17 year old character again. Oh, I like the colors on that one. Tutorial 2. Get ready. You got this. Are you green? I'm like that teal. chick with the mask. Aim bunts by holding left or right. So what's the purpose of bunting again? Uh, basically slow the ball down and set it up for a harder hit. Gotcha. Yeah. It's ball back and forth at high speed. There's no ball. Okay. <laughs> okay, you can see when the ball will release on the boom box. Interesting. Yeah, I don't really understand what was just happening. Hold jump, something happens. Like a power hit. To activate your parry, hit the ball and press B. Oh wow. Parrying depletes your energy. Try to parry the opponent, hit the ball and press B. That is cool looking. Mm hmm. Might be saying if you hold that jump, something happens. Oh, that she can float. Nice. Counter the parry with a grab. Using Y. Counter parry by grabbing. I'm not going to remember that, but that's cool. Right stick to say stuff. That's great. How far are you in the story? No, I mean. Wait, does Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom have a real story mode? I got a new outfit for Jet, Astrodynamic. Sweet. That was worth doing. Let's go back and beat that story level we were having trouble with. Maybe now that we know what bunting is for, we'll do better. But I wouldn't count on it. And parry. I forget parry. I already... How do I parry again? Repose. You hit the ball and push B. Right when you're hitting it? I don't know. The next hit goes without <laughs> hit lag and goes faster. Ooh, stop right there. Okay, we already saw that. Honestly, countering by grabbing it looks like uh, far more advantageous than the parry. Yes. I like that guy's voice. I like you can touch it, though. I like soccer, where if you touch it, you're messed up. Don't let him get the power up. Throw it at him again and again. <laughs> What's the purpose? No. Hit him. Ah. Oh, he got the ball in. No, boo. Oh, now it's that invisible ball crap. Oh. Ow. Invisible ball? Yes. It was a special thing he got from the power up. Nice. That was a good hit. Ooh, the music changed. Does multiplayer have, like, team play? Because I could see throwing the ball being useful for, like, passing, for instance. Yes! Okay, we are doing better. It was 
worthwhile <laughs> to do the tutorial. There is team mode, excellent. I know that would be fun. I uh, gotta not get hit so much. All right. You're gonna knock yourself out. <laughs> yeah. Can everyone hold jump? No. Nah. Oh, great. Multi ball. Oh, multi ball got me. Try going into a wall and jump aiming that direction. Oh, wow, that's funny. Look at that. He skated all over the wall. That's awesome. Great subtlety of characters there. Wee! That's cool. Yes. I bet you wouldn't get hit up there. This is a good quarantine game if you think about it. If you got some kids in the house or somebody to play with. Or even online. Slow down. Oh, I got hit. I was trying to bunt it. You see the path of the ball? The ball? Avoid it. Every character has a unique <laughs> ability. That's sweet. Ha! Ah, I did it! Good job. You okay there? Yeah, sorry. Oh no, I didn't do it. I, I spoke too soon. I stopped to take a drink and I'm not even done yet. Oh god, oh crap. Ow. I was so close to winning. Ow. Boo. Uh, okay, one, come on, Paul. We've got to beat this leg of the tutorial. I wanted an achievement. Hey, uh, you want to be mindful. If you're doing anything more than uh, five speakers, placement is critical. So if you can't do proper placement, do not go to more than five speakers. You'll actually make it worse. Yeah, our living room is not ideal for wall-mounted speakers anyway. It's got a really weird setup because of stairs and like leading into the my work area here and all kinds of stuff. Very open floor. Nitro is especially good. Exactly. Open floor pant. I'm sorry, Mighty. I feel a little bad flailing in front of you, but I never said I'd be good. <laughs> Take that. Uh, Price-wise, you can compromise on the speakers to save money. Do not compromise on the uh, receiver, receiver or uh, amplifier to doing uh, separates. That is what's going to just ruin your system. Uh, but uh, speaker-wise, frankly, depending on your budget, you can, you can get fairly cheap. You can go as easy as low as a hundred dollars per speaker. If you're smart, you can get decent speakers for that price. Good job. More like it. Yeah. That's <laughs> football. It's a football for some reason. I don't know what that means. The same thing. You just have a football instead of baseball. The object is not to hit yourself. Yeah, it didn't help much, but it looked cool. Ow! I, get... I tried to hit it. Giveaway coming up, guys. Good luck. We've got Xbox codes, but this is also on every other platform. If you want to do separates, your starter price on the audio side is going to start you in the five to six grand range, not including speakers. That's a lot. Uh, well, a decent pre pro is going to run you about $2,500. Uh, a decent amp is going to, uh, that runs more than five channels, is going to start you in the $2,000 price range. Uh, get... For an all in one, you want to go with uh, Yamaha, is probably the best bang for the buck. For the uh, amp, I can do more than seven channels. More than seven? Yeah, they, they have an amp that can do up to 11 channels. Well, uh, most amps, uh, dedicated amps, can't do more than five. So then you end up with multiple amps. Huh. But why would you want more than the number of speakers that everything supports? 
you, you it's it's power. He's trying to run a seven point two point four, so that means he needs to try to run seven plus four speakers. So that's obviously more than five. <laughs> so eleven channel amp would be just big enough for what he needs. I see. I'm going to nod my head and pretend that I understand. Yeah. Oh, well, it's, it's it's just adding up the number of connections. No, come so on. So when you do a five yes. speaker setup, you have your front right, your front I did your it. right left, and yes. your rear right and rear left. When you do a seven speaker, you add uh, uh, you, instead of just having your rear right and rear left, you also have your surround right and surround left, which does right in front of the seating position instead of directly behind it. Ah. And then when you do a point uh, four system, you're adding in ceiling speakers for presence <laughs> or for height speakers for Atmos, depending on your setup. Uh, mm -hmm. Which and that's where placement gets very tricky because you need to maintain a 33 degree arc between them. If there's more than 33 degrees off of each other, you basically destroy your sound stage. Hmm. Well, we just learned that Nitro, that overpowered character the developer mentioned, is... Hold on, why isn't the showing is cleared? Mighty, some of these levels have check marks on them and some don't. What's the reason for that? Let's go try arcade mode real quick. <laughs> yeah, he does look a bit like him, doesn't he? <laughs> Alright, we can see there's some unlockable characters. How do we unlock the other guys? By beating the game? Story mode, I assume? Let's be this happy face guy, Candyman. Man. Alright, we're just picking arcade mode to see what it's like. Ooh, it's like a long series of one-on-one -on -one fights, isn't it? Yeah, Buying the... I can have up to 22 speakers. Okay, but what about the check marks on the levels? Why did I not get check marks on some of those? Oh, in game money. <laughs> I was wondering. I didn't even see an in game store -like option. Yeah, I guess we should look around for it. I like this guy. Yeah, he's I'm got a big yellow button. smiley face. Yeah, he's cute. And the way he moves is just awesome. <laughs> yeah, his walking animation. Yep. Ah! Catch the ball, Paul. How about that? He's trying. <laughs> he's so... He's kind of my new favorite guy. Like, I mean, you can catch it and throw it. Ow! Dang it. Ooh. Don't hit it into your soul. Yeah, we covered that already. Peanut. Yep. Like who? Mr. Peanut. Mr. Peanut. Lantern Mr. Peanut. Peanut. Did you hear that Mr. Oh, Peanut died? Long. Mr. Peanut I died. You the actor. No, the, the character Mr. Peanut was killed off in commercials somehow. What? Yeah, he's Excuse been me? replaced by a Baby Yoda looking Baby Peanut. And people hate the Baby Peanut. Uh... Why the heck would they kill off Mr. Peanut? Ah. <laughs> it's very strange. I read I an article about it. This. Beat the last chapter with Switch, you'll get a check mark. Cool. Wait, what did he say right before that? Let's scroll up on that. Oh, with all the characters. Okay. We'll go back and do that in a minute. Guys, Mr. Peanut was a hero, okay? So we don't laugh about his demise. It would have been really funny if uh, Mr. Peanut died due to a peanut allergy. Oh. Now that, that would be irony. Funny. Yes, that's irony. I'm in a, like, the biggest Ninja Turtles fan group on Facebook. And there was a guy, he said, like, Ironically, I was watching Ninja Turtles 3 and eating pizza. And I'm like, that's not irony. 
He never replied. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, some people don't seem to know what irony is. That's nope. often mislabeled. Just like the song. Is, uh, that's it, uh, that's, uh... Uh, 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 Morris that song is so completely wrong. Literally everything she says is irony. Ah. That song is nothing with irony. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is that the one where she sneaks into the guy's house? No, that's like a secret song. No, that's song. a different one. Yeah. Right. That's the one where every out of the line is, isn't it ironic? Yes. Oh, did I just go through the wall somehow? Look at that. He can slide through walls. Neat. That's his thing. Apparently so. I like it as how his feet go really fast. Does the game tell you anywhere what the character abilities are, or is it something you just have to figure out? Oh. Stay yeah. on. Good luck, guys. I assume Dang. you learn the abilities in the training mode. Uh oh. Well, I mean, maybe. Oh, you have to figure it out. When you're playing that, uh, the smiley guy, they should be playing this on the, uh, putting on the race. I would have picked Tub Thumping by Chumbawamba. Because, I don't know, he, he nah, seems very <laughs> uplifting to me. You know, he's very positive. Oh, no, because of the, uh, the cane and how his character moves. But oh, words, yeah. He, Perfect song for it. That's a fair point. I'm not doing very well in this level. Crap. Paul, you're definitely not walking like Gary Cooper. Oh, God. Come on, Paul. Do better. And I did just earn money. Two continues left. Ouch. Okay, we're just going to give up on that sucker. Showcase. Characters. Okay, it looks like from the showcases where you buy those characters, you have to have a thousand sparks. Dust and ashes. That's interesting. This looks like some kind of anime character, I'm sure. You can also buy different colored skins for them. Cool. Yeah, it looks like one of the characters, characters from uh, My Hero Academia. Yeah, there is a bit of a resemblance there. A couple of extra unlockable modes. Teams, 1v1, and free-for-all. Wild free-for-all for up to four players. I like that. Beats, that would be the music, I'm sure. Scarecrow. He looks like Scarecrow, my, he says. Mm. All right. Um, let's go back into... Oops. No, I want to go back into story. Where's the story? There we go. Back up. Yeah, let's do... Okay, so I beat it with her, now I have to beat it with this guy. Got it. Yay, Heaven Smile! Way to go! That's Heaven. Nice atmospheric music starting out the level. Stay down! Yeah. Yeah. I would say my favorite thing about the game is the art style. That's been my one uh, complaint about the current generation of uh, retro style games, and most of them don't take the uh, art style seriously. They just go cheap with uh, pixel art. This is actually something that shows like care and talent. It is very stylish, but um, you know, good, you know, like fancy art or unique art. That's not the easiest thing in the world to come up with. Ah. Yeah, but I'm saying that's yeah. what shows care and. and Talent. Jump with Ratchet. Oh, and that's who I am. So he could wall jump earlier. I see. In addition to your double jump. Nice. Okay. Yeah, because cool. earlier I thought I wall jumped with him, but then I thought it was oh, the double jump. Oh, that was cool. Knocked her down. And too bad to you, but... Go! Stay down! Yeah! Dang! Dramatic. 
Oh, but it wasn't the end of the fight. I keep expecting that to be the end of the fight. These characters are so well drawn and lovable, you know, they could you could use them in a platformer or uh, like a 3D adventure action game of some type. 65 bucks. Not bad, so you're not even tournament? So what if I am? I'm still looking for a teammate. You just might make the cut. Oh. <laughs> Great seeing you, Mongbox. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, see you later. <laughs> so how do I do Nitro's grapple thing? Uh, try the Y button. That's, that would make sense uh, to me. Since that's it's, the grab button. It's not. It's... Oh, it's a special. Gotcha. Get back here. I really hope there's an achievement for being this leveler. I'm going to be sad. I'm letting you know that right now. I think I hit him. Oh, I like his voice. Is that the voice of Jon Stewart from Justice League? It sounded kind of like him. Jon Stewart daily show Jon Stewart? No, the Green Lantern from the Justice League cartoon. He does a lot of voice right, acting. The Justice League cartoon is really, really good. Ah. Have we watched that one yet? We have not, and there's a few that we should watch because they have like Hawk and Dove and different things like that. It's on DC Universe, of course. Cool. We've been watching a little of the first Teen Titans cartoon on DC Universe. Trying to help her daughter get more into the Teen Titans after having watched the Titans TV show all the way through. She the live action like one. It, so. so she didn't oh, like it? Of, no, she uh, did. She loved oh, it. Good. Speaking of Justice League, guy, you heard about JJ uh, uh, Abrams doing uh, the uh, Dark, Dark Justice DC thing. Oh, come on, Paul. Yes, I did. And, like, I have mixed feelings about that. Like, I'm glad it's getting off the ground. The two things that make me sad are it being HBO exclusive and J.J. Abrams being involved because I strongly dislike J.J. Abrams. But I like him. Whenever he has freedom to do what he wants, it's always great. It's only when the studios mess with him that his stuff turns out bad. Or uh, not as good, anyway. Star Trek Into Dumbness is partially Again, that his was fault. A you know, it's also the script. Uh, yeah, because he, he, can, he can't control what the studio makes him do. Like, look at every DC movie, they were all ruined because the studios got involved. Well, I mean, the bad ones, there are some good ones. Ah! There's exactly one good one, and that's because a uh, uh, different director came in and did 90% of the shoots. Which one are you thinking of? Uh, Harley Quinn, and that, like I said, that's oh. only good because of certain parts. I don't know if I heard about that one having significant reshoots. Are you sure about that? Oh, it, oh heck yeah. I mean, Suicide Man, Squad, Harley the first Quinn? one had... Yeah, I mean, Suicide Squad had big reshoots, but... I didn't remember. Yeah, no, Harley Quinn was completely reshot. Almost every thing was redone by the uh, director of... Uh, of uh, John Wick. All wow. the action sequences and everything. That's why the few uh, scenes in the movie that don't fit continuity-wise, those are from the original shoot. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Well... John Wick is a very well directed movie, and Harley Quinn is also very stylish. Bad news, everybody. There was no achievement for beating the blue. No, no, no. That's true. I'm wrong. There's still two more levels I haven't beaten all the way through, so. What do I know? Beat them. <gasps> We're holding out for one uh, achievement. Hey. I was never a fan of uh, Space Ghost myself. Oh, I always liked the old cartoons. When I was little, we watched a lot of old Hanna-Barbera cartoons. And Space Ghost oh, no, Coast to Coast is about... funny. Yeah. I, I always found it very Oh, dry. no! <laughs> Mighty. Not for the blue you crushed my hopes. Part. And why am I beating the blue part if there's no achievement? What do I get for it? OCD is happy. 
That would be my answer. Just you saying. know, modern games can have over 50 achievements if the developer wants, right? <laughs> just, yeah. mean. just pointing that out. There's no set limit that I know of, or at least it's a very large limit. I don't know. Well, the yeah. limit is the number of points. Uh, yeah, it's still colors, a thousand personal good. game. See, so it, it would and add DLC to an achievement later. Yeah. Oh, beating every single level all the way through yeah. is an achievement? At least there's that. See, so you're, you're just being proactive. <laughs> uh, yeah. Although, obviously, the more achievements a game has, that's more testing is required. They have to make sure they all work. Mm -hmm. Serve it, you jerk. That's why I like it when games don't have like really annoying achievements. Okay. I kind of like the, so the little ones the here and there. I started playing video games later in life, and so my hand-eye coordination is not the best. So some of the more complex ones I have a really hard time getting. So I kind of like the ones that are, you know, just kind of hidden. Well, yeah, I don't mind nope. the achievement. I just, I just don't like the achievements that are pretty much impossible. Like, hey, play this game with the developer. It's like, when when am I going to do that? Uh, or yeah, be number one in the worldwide scorecard. On the leaderboard, yeah. Some of the old Ghost Recon games and stuff had achievements like that. It's frustrating. Mm -hmm. yeah, I've almost some got multiplayer thousand... achievements are just ridiculous. Okay, we got to so get that last there, Paul. mark. Oh, sorry, I was saying that Ghost Recon, the first Ghost Recon, had one for being number one on the leaderboard, I think. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, hello, Mr. Fancy Pants. Uh, a few games did that. <laughs> Are you ready? Play ball. Yes. Oh, yeah, MMOs have some of the more frustrating ones where you have to, like, play a thousand missions or some insane thing like that. Yeah, I mean, at least MMOs can reasonably expect you to play ridiculously long, you know? Like, when a regular game asks you to do super grindy things, that can be frustrating. It's just like, this isn't the only game in the world, and this is a $15 game, and you think I'm going to dedicate 300 hours to a grindy achievement, you know? Like, yeah. they don't always take into account what the player experience for going after that achievement would be like. Yep. I just, uh, last week I, uh, played through, uh, uh, what's this type of game called? Uh, King's Quest? Neat. Uh, and, uh, that, that's one of those games where some of the achievements are, like, really stupid because you basically have to deliberately do the wrong thing repeatedly to unlock the achievement. There's no hints about that. You just have to do it. Now, luckily, all the normal achievements you can just figure out because the game kind of hints what to do yeah well uh, see that's the thing i don't necessarily consider that bad they just want you to go back and play differently you know although like figuring it out on your own might be difficult but if you look up a guide oh yeah but i'm just saying like, like if if an achievement requires you to do something that's completely outside the game rule set and that there's no point of reference for in the game at all that shouldn't even be an achievement. <laughs> that could be frustrating. I, yeah. King's Quest at least is in that game, good, in, though, by the way. Yeah. yeah. But at least in that game, the uh, achievements, if just knowing the name of the game, not the game terms, that's, tells you what's going on. Because it's hinting at, at a particular joke. Uh, so you can, you can figure out the gag. Ah. But there's so many games where the achievements are just like, what you expect them to do with this. Hey, the Rustic Player! Nice. Does anyone... I mean, I have the game, obviously. Got a code from the generous developers. Team Reptile, I believe. And who else has won a code tonight? We've given out a couple. I don't think any of our audience already had it. You're not as bad as I thought. Easter egg. Huh. Yeah, she too, she too fairly points out that some of the Playboy developers' achievements are viral, so if everybody plays enough, you'll eventually get it. All right, we got all of the blue ones, guys. That's not bad. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Anyway, it's a nice length for story mode here. Yeah, and I get to be my favorite guy, smiley face guy. Yay! What's Nikki talking about cheating with a wired controller? 
Oh, he's saying like for grindy achievements, sometimes you can do that. You can use a turbo wired controller and just like grind things out. Where does it, although Xbox One has a huge scarcity of turbo controllers, like there are very few options. PlayStation and Switch have more options on that front. Uh, that's because Microsoft tried to make it harder for them to do that type of thing, to that's make it more man. fair. Candyman. Uh, so this Candyman guy, you have to like say his name into a mirror or something? Three times. <laughs> yeah, I really did not like that movie. I actually, I liked his... Uh, I like the guy who played him. Uh, is Dice the, the black guy? I think we already got that one. Yeah. Oh, this is a different Thank one. Thank you for suggesting like. it. Well, look, this is a different game mode. You're actually trying to get into a target. Ouch. That's exciting. No, stay away from my... Oh, I gotta stay over closer to my thing. I keep, like, jumping past the ball. I don't even mean to. <laughs> Stay away from my goal. Nope. Ah, this is like way harder than it looks, but I do like that it's completely different. It's fresh. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that was painful. I'm sorry. Oh, I have enough to unlock another character. Don't let me forget to buy another character before we end the stream. Okay. I will do my best. Hey, up, 84. Yeah, I beat the game twice already. We're just cleaning up achievements now. It's a trap! Playing ball in a padded room. Yay, I got a point that time. Better already. What? That didn't go into his goal? Yeah, that's more like it. <laughs> yeah, by the way, guys, you know I... I don't do it very much anymore, but I'm still a games journalist, and I... I mentioned this in the newsletter already, but I actually wrote another article for Co-Optimist this week, which I'm very happy about. Turns out that some classic games, you know, I love me some classic games, River City Ransom and Double Dragon 1 through 3 all came out on the Xbox One this week, so I wrote a story about that for Co-Optimist. I wonder if anybody could share the link for me. It's in the newsletter again, and on our Discord. Good. Yes! Kicked Yay. his butt. Unfortunately, I already deleted the newsletter from my email. What? Oh, I have a uh, habit of deleting emails as soon as I finish reading them. Well, as long as you actually read them, that's fine. Again, we would really like everybody to actually watch our videos on YouTube because that looks better when we show the videos to the developers later on. I found a new outfit to unlock for Candyman. Straight jacket alert. All right. <laughs> you get to do a straight jacket? Nice. Yeah, Jordan, if you need help with that, Icky, thank you so much. If you need help getting the Japan exclusive games, I bought a ton of them, you know, like I bought all but two of them. So I could walk you through that through Discord or whatever if you needed some help. But you might be able to figure it out on your own. But we got a 10,000 yen card, which is like $100 worth for like $66 on G2A. And then I was able to buy the collection and all but two of the individual games. So that was exciting. And a lot of them have really easy achievements. Oh, I got the yen card from... Oh, I just told you. G2A.com. PlayAsia, unfortunately, doesn't have yen cards anymore, which is a drag. How old do you think Dice is? Uh, he looks old. Oh, no, this one doesn't have the targets anymore. It's just a regular match. I was hoping this whole blue one would be the, the other game type. But anyway, he looks like late 20s i'm just gonna guess of course we're zoomed out here so i can't no i mean well he dresses older right but looking at his little character portrait i don't know <laughs> it's too zoomed out for me to tell okay the, 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 the uh, age in the uh he's 19. why are these characters all so young it sounds like a big age bias on the developer's part if you ask me well, First of all, they're making yeah. the girls slight, like barely legal, and now the the guys are only one or two years older. <laughs> Just kidding. There's no age limit for murder sports. 
<laughs> yeah, I suppose not. Well, only one guy died. By the way, that guy dying, is that part of the first game's story, or is it just background info? <laughs> yeah, but Jordan, like I said, I got that card for $66 at U2A.com. You should check it out and see if they still have a good deal on it. Oh, Nitro is 31. There we go. Oh, the first game doesn't have any lore. Wow. Well, I'm glad you're able to make a sequel and really expand on things like this. Did I mention I still think you guys should do a platformer or like a just a 3D action game instead of 2.5D? Not complaining about this one. I'm saying the characters, they deserve more to uh, appear more. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, likes stop getting hit by the ball. You up, uh, Andy's hey! If I picked up what? Come here, squad. That's the text comp for new uh, DLC. Oh. Yeah, Brandy, there's like a $10 new XCOM thing on Steam. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. even play for on XCOM anymore. Yeah, she, she really doesn't play on her computer anymore. Uh, it's DLC for XCOM 2. XCOM. Uh, yeah. I don't think it's standalone anyway. What the heck? Uh, it's not oh. on console yet for some reason. Hmm. Uh, considering uh, both XCOMs are on console, I would expect it to be on console same day. Yeah, they may bring it out in like a month or two. Sometimes they do that. Like PC's lead platform and the consoles, they take a little work to port it for some reason. Yeah. Plus, it's not like they, it's since it's basically the XCOM 2 game. Not like I thought it was standalone. I, th I thought it was uh, an expansion. Uh, just another guess. Now, 35, I can that I can deal with. That's more like it. You know, here at this stream, we're all basically about 100 or so. So we like senior citizen game characters. Excuse me, I'm half Thank you very much. Yes, we did it. Go oh, team. Half, oh, you're a PC player. Deals a deal. You've been in the That's master all. race. That's all, folks. He's fine. Oh, sad. Penny Man's great. You need to return to the Master Race. I've gone back to the Master Race myself after many, many years on the console. Console is so convenient, but you know, every now and then I'll play something cool on PC. It still gets some really unique exclusives. Although more and more PC type games do come to console, which is really neat. Speaking of which, guys, for our live viewers, next week we are streaming Machinarium. I think that's how you say that. Machinarium? It's an adventure game from Amanita Design. It was released on PC first, and then it came to Windows Phone, Windows 8, all that kind of stuff. And I actually wrote about it for Windows Central back in the day. So I'm excited. <coughs> Very sorry, my drink has salt in it. it got on my throat. Anyway, I'm excited about revisiting Machinarium and showing it off to our streaming audience. That's going to be cool. Yeah. Point and click adventure game. It's beautiful artwork. Yes. It reminds me of the box trolls, actually. Yeah. Just as this game we're playing now, Lethal League Blaze, has a really cool, unique art style, Machinarium also has a very cool, unique art mm -hmm. style. Although they're totally different. They're nothing alike. Oh, here's the 35-year-old. Ooh, look at the stage opening. So this guy is Mega Man themed, right? Or Mega Man influenced? Because the, the level certainly makes me think of Mega Man. That's about the age that Val Kilmer got in his barrel chest, so I can see it. <laughs> he also looks a little bit like one of the golems from Dragon Quest, but wearing clothes. Because, you know, he's got the yellow going on. Here. Yeah. Okay. Is that what? what oh, those are electric ballots, aren't they? So yeah, very Mega Man like. Stay down. This is my favorite stage of the ones we've seen so far. I always enjoy scrolling stages in games. Oh, come here, squad! It is standing. Ha! Ah, stand alone. In your face, Tom. 
I was just oh. I, kept, I kept trying to read the thing on the site and it just didn't say whether it was ten dollars or not. And for ten dollars, it just seemed like a good deal. Apparently, Mega Man was Plus, not an use, uh, influence on this character in stage. Yeah. If you look it up on Steam, it actually shows it up. It has a DLC for uh, XCOM 2. Mega Man movie? Uh, an animated movie. Hmm. I can't uh, see them doing a live action, action one, but... live action would be. Yeah, well, I mean, Sonic kind of surprised us, but... So I like the gangster kind of look of this dude, but can't imagine. Oh no, the football cool. thing. Keep that football away from me, I don't like football. Hey, Tyler! Up. Huh, Tyler's backing me up on the Mega Man level. Hope you feel better, Tyler. Yeah. Tyler, remember to drink lots of water. That's good for hangovers. Yes! <laughs> but it's not over yet. First six, whatever that is. <laughs> yes, it is boring, but it's necessary. Hey, just go for, like, orange juice, electrolytes. Good stuff. But does orange juice hydrate you enough? Um, it's more the vitamin C. See, he, he needs but the hydration too. a lot of it too. is water, but... Ow, I got hit. Come on, we can do this. Good luck, everybody. Last giveaway of the night. Good luck, guys. Thank you very much to Brailmeister for Sorry. running the contest. <laughs> yes, thank you. Icky is boiling cabbage or something. Yes. I'm going to do cabbage soup. It's really good. Good luck, the Rustic Player, everybody. It's so good to hang out with all of you and check out different games every week like this. It's great seeing everyone. Yeah. They're amazing. It's the highlight of my week for sure. <laughs> Volley and Dignities. Who is that? How could he beat me? Green bean soup. Huh. Uh, Gears <laughs> Tactics is the end of the month, I believe. What is? Uh, Icky's asking about where Gears Tactics is. And I'm pretty sure the release is the end of the month. Gears Tactics? I already have it, uh, yeah, I already said it's set to pre-install my Xbox. Or my PC, I mean. Why don't I know about this game? Is it like the How fun cut pop gears? gears? Tactics. Is it like Gears no, Pop? Is that... No, it's, it's a tactics game with Gears characters. That's wild. I... <laughs> I really didn't know about <laughs> this game. Broke. I did not know about it. <laughs> I'm broke a lot. Sorry, Just Jordan. <laughs> All right, we're going to do one last level, then we're going to go buy a new character. Yes. Raptor from the Renegades, Actually, apparently right? it's already out. Dice. Already out? Yeah. Paste the store link in chat, will you? I was just looking up on the uh, Xbox store. Hmm. You can still find a store or link. A Windows store. He's got his phone. No, I'm, in, I'm talking about in the, in the app. Doesn't have a share feature. Alright, I'm playing dice now. Dice is 28. I want everyone to remember that. It says if you crouch and jump... No, d dice is 19. My bad. Okay, the if release is the crouch 28. crouch and dump, you do a super jump. Oh, neat. That's oh, fun. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it reminds me of the Marvel vs. Capcom games, which we were just talking about earlier, thanks to No Time for Games. Yes, Stay down. catch that ball. I really don't do the catch move very often. I haven't found a use for it myself. You but... got it. Because what? Ow. Oh, Ow. I saw that coming. Here's Tactics 428, so not actually out. Yep. No, the mouse was uh, in December. Oh. Well, hey, no time. We're just glad you're here, dude. I hope that they don't, you know. Fun stream trivia. I met No Time for Games in person at QuakeCon several years ago. So, that does put him ahead of many of our viewers. Yeah, However, this is kind of like... Sorry, I met him in oh, all games. I was just going to say yeah. the subscribers are, are still number one. But we love everyone. Subscribers, we just love them a little bit extra. Aww. Hey, that includes Perfect Zero. And the Brownmeister. Of course. And you, of course, Brandy. 
<laughs> I said I only yeah, better is supposed so. to be like uh, uh like a uh, XCOM style gameplay by the way. You did it. Nice. So Brandy, you might like that. She might. Mm. And it, that is on Xbox 2 or just PC? X PC and Xbox. And because of course it's Microsoft, it's going to be the best. <laughs> I don't know why I like it so much. I just did. I'll tell you stories later, Ikki. You should pay a visit to the Queen sometime. Maybe she has some answers for you. Maybe I will. There were stitches cool. all over him. All over who? Oh, the guy? Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and unlock another character. Is he Frankenstein? So Toxic. we, yeah, we like female characters, so we're going to unlock Toxic. Hey, look <gasps> at that. She looks like, like Ghost from Ant-Man and Wasp. And some of the other Marvel things. Nice, cool looking character. I kind of wish I could rotate her model here. She's packing what can COVID. I do? Just like, ooh. Some nice other colors. Really neat outfit. Ooh, I like that. How do we unlock those question mark outfits, I wonder? Oh, Toxic is the Queen. Yeah, that makes sense. Yes, yeah, I like the, I think the sweet and sour one is the one that I thought was pretty. What? Sweet? Oh. Ah, Alexa, shut up! Sorry. Alexa's feeling needy. Alright, so... <laughs> At least she took it like a champ. So you got a total of 12 characters once you unlock everybody. Congratulations, Link and Panda P! Congrats, guys. Yes. Don't say the magic word. What about beats? What all can we unlock here? These are just sound tests. Yeah, and I mean, Thug some in. of the tunes are really cool. I don't like love them all, but still, it's a nice variety in the soundtrack. And don't forget, you've got different stages. Total of one, two, three, four, five, six. Ten different stages once you unlock them all. Nice. Workbot Factory. Wait, that's not the one that I like so much. It was the one where it was going upward. Is that New Rise District? I think so. Uh, by the yep. way, there's no ETA on the Xbox version of Gears Tactics, only on the uh, PC version. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Okay. Well, so, originally it was going to be a PC it. exclusive. Sure. There's cool. more stages. Oh, there's even more. Nice. Excellent. So there's a bunch of stuff to unlock just by playing the game. Story's got a good number of levels, but not like a horror. I mean, it doesn't look like it's going to go on and on forever. It looks like, like a nice four or five hour experience. That's cool. Then you've got local and online versus ranked host quick match a 500 matches to unlock retro stage and that probably for most of us we would need to use a turbo controller or something but uh, but that's really cool that you get a reward for doing it excellent so we have been playing lethal league blaze for xbox one guys remember it's also on playstation 4 switch and steam it's 20 bucks very stylish, cool game. If you have people to play with locally, you're definitely going to love it. And there's also online multiplayer, a nice option. So thank you very much to Team Reptile for donating codes for tonight's stream. Thank you, Perfect Zero, for co-hosting. Always a pleasure. Thank you, Brandy Katz, as always. Yep, here. Brown Meister for running the contest. All of you guys for hanging out with us and checking out Lethal League Blaze. Great seeing you all. I love you, and remember, don't hate. Appreciate Too bad Tyler's not feeling good tonight. What an SOB. I'm glad I didn't have to say it. <laughs> this is Always good. Always love though. this film. Okay. It added some spicy Mexican. Okay. Bye, Gazer. Great seeing you. Bye.